Hey there, welcome to this video on creating rock, paper, scissors using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So what you see here is the rock, paper, scissors game that we'll be implementing. So if I choose rock, the opponent will randomly choose one and you can see the opponent chose paper. So that means I lost. So their score bumped up by one. And if I choose scissors, you can see we both tie. So both of us get a point and I can choose scissors again and we both tie. I can choose it again and I lose. So you can play around like this. And yeah, this is the game we'll be implementing. Now, if this is your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing. I post weekly videos on web tutorials. So if that's something that interests you, hit that subscribe button and check out the other videos on my channel. I have tutorials on Wordle, Sudoku, Tic-Tac-Toe, Connect4, and some other fun stuff. And I'll be uploading weekly. So yeah, just please consider subscribing and let's make this game. Now, I also want to mention that I'll post the link to the code down below in the description where you can get these three images or you can go on Google image and choose whatever three rock, paper, scissor images that you want to use. All right, so let's begin. So first start by creating three files in XHTML, style.css and script.js. And we're going to do doc type HTML, HTML. We're going to add a head tag and we're going to do meta car set utf8 so this is just a standard character set and meta name equals viewport content is equal to width equals device width and initial scale is equal to 1.0 now let's add a title to our page so title we're going to call it rock paper scissors and let's also link our style sheet so link rel style sheet href style.css and let's link our script as well so script source is equal to script.js okay so that's it for our head now let's move on to the body so for the body tag let's create a header and we're going to give it an id of opponent score so that we can access this tag and change the value later to update the score for our opponent. So it starts at zero. And then we're going to have an image tag. And this one is the opponent choice. So this is going to be a random choice between rock, paper and scissors. And we're going to select a random image to populate into this tag. Let's also add a break line because images go from left and right instead of stacking on top of each other. So we want this break line so that this new image, which is your choice, we want it to be below the opponent's choice. And then over here, I'm going to create a div with the ID of choices, which will populate using JavaScript. But these will be the three choices, rock, paper, and scissors that you can click. And then it will populate the image over here. And then finally, you will have your own header ID your score zero. Okay, so that's it for the HTML. So open up the folder where your files are and just double click on the index.html. And you can see these are three images that we'll be using. So let's open that up. And you can see all we have is the score. So we're going to add some CSS to show where the image boxes are. All right, so let's begin by styling the body. We're just going to change the font to Arial, and we're going to do text align center. So this aligns all the images and text within the center of the page. And then for our opponent choice, which is an image tag, we're going to set a width of 240 pixels and a height of 240 pixels. And we're going to make the background color cyan so you can see it. And then I'm going to apply a margin top 10 pixels so that there is some space between the text with the score and this image. And let's also do the same thing for your choice. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So for your image, let's just make it yellow for now. And then over here, we're going to have choices. So choices, we're going to make the width 240 pixels as well, except the height is going to be 80 pixels. So there are three choices. You have rock, paper, and scissors. So 240 divided by three, that's 80. So each image is going to be 80 by 80. So over here, we're going to do choices. And within choices, all the image tags within the choices div, we're going to set the width to 80 pixels. 
and the height to 80 pixels. And then over here, let's just make the background color green so you can see it. And let's also add a margin top of 10 pixels. All right, so if I refresh, you can see we have our opponent's image and your image, and these are the choices. So we wanna center this. So to do that, you just do margin, zero auto. And if I refresh, you can see that our choices over here is centered. Okay, so let's use our JavaScript to implement the logic and populate the images over here so that you can select them. So we're going to have var u, which is going to be your choice. And then you're going to have a score variable. We're going to make one for our opponent as well. And actually let's set your score to zero by default. Okay, so the choices are going to be rock, paper, and scissors. So when the page loads, we're going to call a function, and this function will populate the three choices, rock, paper, and scissors, into our choices div over here. So to do that, we're going to use a for loop. So for let i equal zero, i less than three, i plus plus, let choice is equal to document dot create element image. So we're going to create an image tag like this. And then we're going to set the ID to choices of I. So in this case, the ID will be either rock, paper, or scissors. And when we click on the image, we're going to set you to the ID to know which of the three choices you selected. Let's also set the image. So choices dot source is equal to choices of i plus dot png and then we're going to do document dot get element by id choices and we're going to append this image tag so append choice okay so this line is going to set the source to rock dot png and then it's going to do the same for paper and scissors and it's going to take this tag go to this div and paste it in here like that. Okay. All right. So if I refresh, you can see we should have our three images here, but there is a bug somewhere, probably a typo. So let's go and check. So this should be choice dot source. All right. So now if I refresh, you can see we have our three choices over here. Okay. So let's get rid of this green background image. Let's comment this out. So now what we're going to do is add a click handler. So this choice, this image is going to listen for a click. So add event listener, click, and it is going to call a select choice function. So within our select choice function, we're going to set you to this dot ID. So you refers to this variable over here, and this refers to the image that was clicked. So the ID could be a rock, paper, or scissors that we set over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set document.getElement by ID, your choice, which is an image tag. And we're going to set the source to U plus PNG. All right, so if I refresh and I click rock, you can see rock appears. Now I click paper, paper appears, scissors. So I can click around. Let's also have our opponent choose one at the same time when we click. So it is going to be random for the opponent. So opponent is equal to choices. So it's going to be this array and we're going to put in a random index. So math.floor math.random times three. And the way this works is math.random gives you a number between 0 and 1, but not including 1. So it's more like 0 and 0.9999. And you multiply it by 3, so the range it becomes 0 and 2.9999. And then you do a math.floor, so you can get rid of any decimal numbers and just keep the whole number. So it becomes a number between 0 and 2. So indices 0 and 2. So you randomly choose one of these. So now we're going to do document dot get elements by D opponent choice dot source is equal to opponent plus dot PNG. 
So now if I refresh and I click on something, you can see our opponent also randomly chooses one. Okay. So now all that's left to do is check for winner. So check for winner. If you equal to your opponent, so this means you both chose the same thing, then your score, we're going to bump it up by one. And the opponent score as well, we're going to bump it up by one. Else, we're going to have a series of check. So it's basically if you chose rock, then if your opponent chose scissors, your score goes up by one. Else, if opponent chose paper, opponent score goes up by one. And then we can just copy and paste this. So let's say here, we're going to add else and else. So here's rock, scissors, and paper. We're going to choose scissors here. That means if the opponent chooses paper, we get a point. And if they chose rock, they get a point. And over here, we're going to put paper. And if the opponent chooses rock, we get a point. And if they choose scissors, they get a point. So after this else statement, we're going to update the score. So document dot get element by D your score dot inner text is equal to your score and document dot get element by D opponent score dot inner text is going to be opponent score. Okay. So if I refresh, and I choose scissors, you can see I won that one because the opponent chose paper. And if I choose rock, I lose. If I choose paper, we both tie. So that's pretty much it for this game. And we can go to our CSS and get rid of the background color for the images. So let's comment this out. And let's also comment this out. And now we have a fully functional game of rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like. Let me know down below in the comments and please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.